Hi. Welcome to Dave's Corner of the World. Have a great day. Okay, today we're going to take and put a hose in line so a motorhome can use a small bottle. Motorhomes have the tanks built in. They don't come out. You can't take them over to, to fill them up. So consequently, snowbirds either have to move their rig every week or uh, not use propane or something. But, but a lot of times we just put a hose in here. That way we can run it off of a external bottle. So let's just get into that. First thing we need to make sure is we turn the propane valve off. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but there's little lines, little marks right there in that, in this nut. 99% of the time, if you see those, they're reverse threads. So, normal threads, we'd be pulling this wrench down. In this case, we've got to pull it up because that indicates 99% of the time that that's reverse threads. And I've done enough of these to know that for sure that is reverse thread. So that came off pretty easy. They don't need to be on there real tight. They really don't. How we're going to put this hose in here is I've got a, a hose barb right here that we're going to put in there and, and crimp it on. Okay, let's see. Most of the time I don't like to use vice grips on anything, but in this particular instance it won't hurt a thing. All I need to do is just hold this to where I can shove it in. But that's pretty tight. It's quarter inch hose barb, quarter inch hose. So shove it in real good. That one I probably could have done without the use of the vice grips, but that's what I used, so that's okay. Now this little tool here that's, that's nothing. It's just two pieces of metal and a piece of wire. Oh, heavy, heavy wire, 316 steel. 40 bucks for that. $40 for that. It's a crimping tool. And of course, I can't do my job without it, so you got to pay for it. All right. Now, there's a professional crimp for you right there. That's just what they do downtown. I'm going to go ahead and crimp it back here as well. Actually, when you go somewhere and have hoses made up, they have these in a, in a press where you just use a hydraulic press and it presses it down. But that works just fine. 40 bucks. Are you serious? Okay. Now everybody's seen Teflon tape. This is a, a form of Teflon tape, but this is yellow. It's made for gas. Gas only. So you should always use the right type of tools or supplies for the right job. Something I learned a long time ago. Roll this backwards. That way you're always going to have tension on it. And it's not going to jump out of your hands as easy. The smartest man I ever met in my life, now of course you guys know I'm 67 years old, the smartest man I ever met in my life, he taught me when I was about 23, he says, you only put one and a half wraps of Teflon tape or this gas tape. Uh, have a hard time, hard time here, boys and girls. So you only put one and a half wraps 
of Teflon tape around a an air fitting or in this case a gas fitting or anything else any more than that and you're just going to bunch up the tape um, when you when you put when you put this other device on it, you're just going to bunch of tape and push it over and not have any tape in there any less than one and a half rounds you're not going to have any tape inside there at all so I've always remembered that so we're gonna what I'm gonna do this is a this is the hose that's going to the bottle and when my customer here when he leaves he's gonna turn this valve off now there's a check valve built into here but we're dealing with such low pressure that sometimes the time they leak that ball valve that uh, uh, ball valve is not going to leak so I always spend an extra ten dollars and put uh, put a good valve on there now I need some more wrenches nine sixteenths and a half inch I think Nine sixteenths. Where are you at? Nine sixteenths. I know you're here somewhere. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Can't remember my sizes no more by looking at them. All right. My best friend and mentor, he taught me when I was about 27. He says, always use the proper tool for the proper job. These things are not much better than a hammer. Okay. So always use the proper tool for the proper job. These, this doesn't need to be super, super tight because we have the Teflon tape on here. Plus, we're dealing brass against brass. Sometimes they say don't even bother to put any tape on there, but we're dealing with propane gas right now, and we don't want this to leak on my customer a month from now or two months from now. So put that on. We'll go back to our Teflon tape here. And what we got to do, we got to come out with a short nipple. Do the same thing on it, wrap it one and a half times. Going to do a better job this time, boys and girls. All right, one and a half times. And you put it on clockwise that way when you turn it when you screw it into what you're screwing into you won't undo the teflon tape so i need to turn it around and again i'm turning this clockwise one one and a half okay i got another one here i just will go ahead and do it Turn it around, make sure we go clockwise in both of them, or else one of them, not necessarily it will unwind, but it has a big chance of unwinding if you put it on backwards. Okay, that's about one and a half. Now what we're gonna do is put this, thread it into the valve We'll have a T in line. Hey, come on. Why isn't this fitting? I wonder if that's a bad T. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now we need to tighten that down. And I am going to use a... There isn't a proper tool for this job. 
because if I stick anything in there, I'm going to bung up the threads on each end. So I got a great big, huge crescent wrench. I'm going to tighten that down with. So there really isn't a tool for this job, but we're making it that way. Now, of course, it's tightening up both inside the T and inside the valve. So, go a little bit slow here. There again, it doesn't need to be super, super tight. But it does need to be pretty well tight. And what I want to do is, it's not quite lined up with the T, the valve. So I'm going to go ahead and line it up, and we're going to call that good. Let's go just a little bit more. That looks pretty good. Still, that's not close. That's not it yet. Sorry, boys and girls, I'm a perfectionist. You guys know that by now. That's about it. Okay, got that part done. Now what we're going to do... So I'm going to put this close nipple in here. You know what? I did all this wrong. I'm going to take it back apart here. Well, I won't have to. I don't have to. It'll be, it would have been easier if I'd have done it right to begin with, but I didn't. So we're going to have to suffer. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this is the part that goes in the propane valve that goes on the tank. Need to separate this from the regulator. And I think that takes the 7 16 And it's kind of hard to see, but there's little flat spots around. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, boys and girls, that, well, that was a sonic boom. We live about 15 miles away from Holloman Air Force Base, and they were out there playing this morning, and they, as you can hear, they're still playing today. But that's what that was, in case you ever heard one. Now you might be able to hear the jet. Okay. There we go. We got that one off. I'm not ready to put it back together yet, but I just will get ready. We'll put Teflon tape back on here. Same way as we did all those other fittings. That way when I get ready to, I won't forget it and I'll just be ready to slap it in there and be done. Okay, there's about a wrap and a half. So now, if I'd have left this hose off, I could have just turned this on there and put the hose on later, but I got ahead of myself. What can I say? So we'll make this work anyway. By the way, all these are quarter inch fittings, just quarter inch. Uh, standard pipe fittings nothing special no metric I don't know if there is a metric pipe fitting I've never run into any but then again I've been retired for a long time so I'm going to turn this on alright I want to go one more revolution. If I can, I want to. <sighs> All right, there we go. Now we got that on there. Now you see what we're doing, we're just putting, 
putting that in there and then putting it back together. So we've already got our Teflon tape on there because I just put that on a minute ago. And the only thing that's left-handed threads is that one piece that I showed you earlier. There again, this is only a 7 16 inch wrench, but we don't need to crank it on super, super tight. That should be tight enough. Okay. Now, one thing left to do, remember this is reverse thread, so we gotta turn it this way to tighten it to, to screw it in. Oh, come on. I hate it when a plan doesn't go together. What's the problem? We just took that out of there a few minutes ago. You saw me take it out. How come I can't get it back? Huh? There we go. All I have to do is get it lined up correctly. All right. Take again the right tool for the right job. This is 7 8. Tighten it up. Now you saw it wasn't very tight before, so I'm not going to put it on any tighter than it was before. That pretty well concludes this job. Now all we have to do is test all of our connections. I'm going to leave this valve turned off. And I'm going to hook up to, this is a, a brand new bottle, brand new full bottle. I'm going to put it on here, open the valve, open up this valve. Now the motor home is pressurized. We have propane going from here, through this line, through that valve, and going this way, and going that way. Well, this valve is closed, so it can't go in that tank. So we have pressure in all of our fittings, all of our brand new fittings that we just put on. And we're gonna, oh, got a leak. Got a pretty good leak there. That's the only one I got. That's disheartening, boys and girls, that really is. Okay, well, it's a leak, we gotta fix it. How am I gonna do that? Try to get another turn out of it. Hope it doesn't leak this time. All right. Sometimes things don't work out the way you plan, so you gotta have a backup plan. All right, I turned the gas on. Still leaking just a little bit, so we'll put one more revolution on it. But it's leaking a whole lot less now than it was. Nothing more than Dawn dishwashing soap, about six drops in, a, in, a, in that much water. That's all it is. It's nothing special. But as you can see, in this case, it was very, very, very needed. Some people might have said, yep, it's done. And then two days from now, the customer's propane would have been drained out 
for possibly worse yet if you'd had some sort of trouble okay I do not see any leaks whatsoever anywhere one thing I'm doing I'm cleaning up the customer's propane tank what do you think of that all right, let's really zoom in on that. And you see there's no bubbles right there now. It was bubbling, but it's not now. Well, there you go. Okay, what happens when the customer wants to leave? All right, well, how does this thing work? Why are we even doing this? All right, right now, this, val this bottle is open, so we're... The, the motor home is running off with this propane bottle. Gas is going through here, going through that valve, going that way to the motor home. This valve is turned off. He's got about three quarters of a tank. Actually, it's almost full. He's going to leave that turned off all the time until four o'clock of the morning when this bottle runs out and he gets cold. And he has to come back outside. Then he'll turn this off you know, open up this valve. Then he'll be running right off just like the original coach was designed to run. That way he can stay warm tonight and tomorrow morning he can either exchange or have this bottle filled. When he gets it done, he'll come back, put it on there, turn this valve off, which I never did turn on just now, but we'd turn this one off, open up that valve, and we're going again. All right, I'm gonna kind of button this up just a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and I'm gonna tell the customer off, off air, off the video, that he can just take and, and take a, a bread wrapper or Velcro or something like this and just wrap it together and hang it right here. It won't go anywhere. It's a possibility that it could get down here on the ground and destroy the fitting and possibly even worse so right now i don't think any camera can see what i'm doing but i'm just putting this back on there so we can close the customer's door and he's running on his new propane tank and that's it that's all there is to it See you next time.